Khadija Newman. You've been using my damn name, Diddy, for a minute. I spoke on this on the other video. I said you was living with Aaron Bell, Christopher Bell, and fucking Joanna Bell, and some shit like that. Then I said that you were attached to my name, and then your emails were attached to my accounts because you hacked my shit so much. And that's why the fuck y'all niggas is facing. I'm sorry. That's why the fuck you dummies are facing the things that you're facing right now. Carmen Acosta. I don't know you, but I'm familiar with an Acosta or two. Wait, what? Oh, my God. Even down to housing, Mildred Acosta. I don't know if she still worked there or not or whatever. Maybe some people made off like fat cats with my money. And she was one of them. Who fuck knows, right? Yeah, but that's something that's, that they can investigate and find out for me. Isn't that a doozy? Yeah, Esther Colado Colazzo. You know Khadija Newman. You are attached to my name, too. Khadija, I know her through Darnell. You babysat my daughter while I went to go do a job. Yeah. And when I came home from work, you were gone. Darnell was left with Maya. And my birth certificate and social security card was missing. And I never saw you again. Then suddenly they said you moved to North Carolina, Georgia, and suddenly I had an ID there and a license or some shit. I'm feeling some type of way. It's 12 in the morning where I'm at, and I am ready to whoop your ass with facts. Like, just show everybody where you at, where you been, and exactly what I mean by you're attached to my things, but that's not for the world to see. I mean, technically, I can share it because I'm the one that's going through identity fraud from you identity thieves, right? Yeah, so it's, when you're dealing with identity theft, sometimes it's just not people that, um, just out of random who hacked your computers or it was a computer breach. Sometimes those are planned computer breaches by people that you actually know who are inclined to do such thing. Like what I'm saying right now. to the authorities watching my channel that I send you my channel to watch for a reason because it ain't a game and I'm helping you to locate all of those people who are a part of a lot of fraud yeah dang I know it's so much like to reimburse me you make me a rich motherfucker super rich so thank y'all but I don't like going through all the shit that I went through to be the rich person that I am you stealing on my identity and playing in my social security numbers and IDs and 
birth certificates and bank accounts and shit like that. Like, you really organized. Like, when they say RICO crimes, I wasn't quite sure the severity of the matter. But damn, now I know. Now I know. Usury. The Usury Act. You tried to use me as your money mule. With the identity theft that you did. And then we got some... Man... A drone man, cameraman, director. Can you direct me to the part of the movie reel of mine that you're conducting with your family members and mine about when I get my justice? Because I'm quite tired of your family and I'm tired of mine. Okay, that's right. I'm tired of the neighbors. I'm tired of everybody. I'm tired. I didn't deserve this, drone man. Bring your drone a little closer, because see, Darnell, like, he snitched yesterday when he sat there and said, I'm not the golden child, and I'm not uh, the last dragon. You said that to slickly say that you heard what I said without you being around because drone man got the drone running around following me. So you hear what I say. You know what I'm feeling. Right? Darnell, I'm fucking right. You know I'm right. Um, to let y'all know what I mean by Last Dragon, I was sitting where I'm sitting right now, or, you know, between, somewhere between that, and I was playing The Last Dragon, um, what's the name of it? The theme, when you got the glow, actually listen to the lyrics. Pay attention to the lyrics. The lyrical content in that is very on a high spiritual level. One who is spiritual would understand exactly what is being said there. So anyways, I was playing that. Um, to remind myself that I'm no regular degula, that part. But I was by myself. Like I am right now. And de-snitched yesterday by repeating something that I did. And he wasn't supposed to be around. How is that for stalking? Hmm? I'm so calm right now, it's scary. Because I shouldn't be this calm. I should be setting it off. Big time. It's just that the reason why I'm calm is is that there is no hiding or covering up anything else that you've been into anymore when it comes to me. A drum man. I'm calling you drum man. I'm not even saying your name. But you know, the lake house. That man. That the name. Anyway. got this uh, crew called Brothers or something. Brothers something brothers. Anyways, I have recordings from back when I used to follow you. Like, 
as a follower, like on Instagram or nothing like that. When I messaged you, inquired about a question, I wanted to know your thoughts on a certain topic that I was venturing into and you came off like you were inclined about it. So that's why I asked you that you came off snotty to me in the damn in a text, like, what was that about? I didn't do anything to you. Anyways. I couldn't understand why why I felt like me inquiring about your expertise on, on a certain thing that I was venturing into would make you come off me too. I mean cause I wasn't out here trying to holla at you or nothing like that I don't do that you know? <laughs> I don't be no anyways I don't reach my arms is not extended elbows locked I don't, I don't be thirsty I ain't thirsty I stay hydrated anyways so I wasn't coming at you like that I was, the nature of the conversation was nothing like that No, but it came off like I did something wrong. And I was like, "Damn, what I do? All I did was ask a question about a particular topic that you're inclined to answer about because that's your field." <laughs> Anyways, but that was the last interaction. It wasn't no big thing, not not to me. Anyways, and guess what? I didn't know that later on, some years later, that a lot of your people would be involved with my people in doing some shit to me. And I would like to know what your involvement is. I mean, can't nobody act like they don't know nothing now. It's a little too late for that. I got attacked too many times. So can't nobody be out here like, oh, she be talking to my man. Y'all on some poly wanna crack a shit, and I told y'all no. So that's not it. That's that's not that's definitely not it. I've been single for quite some years to myself, separated from the actual person that I married who's running around here with a bunch of bitches pretending to be me, accessing shit that don't belong to them, telling people that I died and I'm alive. So, so that. I had to go online and tell people I'm alive. Like, I can't believe you running around here telling people that I'm dead for insurance purposes, to receive property that don't belong to you, to access shit, to alter shit. That's what you do. And it's not like I haven't posted these type of things or actions and activities because I even posted down to those bogus ass rings that y'all was wearing Talking about some motherfucking king and queen. I don't see a king and queen in you two bitches. I see a bunch of damn dummies. Who fucked up? That's what I see. Where's where's the king? Where's the queen? I see tyrants. I see that. (laughs) A whole lot of that. You want to be a villain so fucking bad, but then when the going gets tough and it's time for the villain to pay the cost to be that type of boss, you don't want none of the consequences that come with being a villain, as you call yourself, or a bandit, as you call yourself, right? You self-proclaimed yourself to be that while you attacking my shit.
I did everything in my power not to look at um, certain officials a certain kind of way because of the fact that I said I was brought up with a bunch of officials that taught me a lot. And a lot of those teachings was self-respect, honor, and integrity. And to never forget that integrity is important, more important than a character. Okay? I'm not playing a role. I'm the main event. It's been too many years past already. From 2013, matter of fact, a little earlier than that. Since the 80s, you've been fucking with my name. That's A. That's A since birth. <laughs> since, since birth. Damn. Since birth. I tell you what, people. I'm not uh, monitored and surveillance and droned and watched and followed for nothing. It's truth in everything that I say. There's a whole lot of collusion there. I laugh, but it's not funny. It's a whole lot of deception, a whole lot of falsehood, a whole lot of greed, a whole lot of envy. And it's bad when it's a male that envies you the most out of everybody. It's bad when that male secretly wants to be you. And y'all were close at one point. You were tight. You were thick as thieves. I don't like to say thick as thieves because I ain't no motherfucking thief. Let's get that shit straight. You are though, yeah. I'm not feeling what I just saw on my computer today, tonight, a few minutes ago. I'm not feeling it. Um... If you are the type of person that um, gets fonts, that, like, you know, different letterings, things like that, you go on certain websites, you get those fonts. Uh, it's made by a particular person. Unfortunately, I haven't went on any websites to get any new fonts, but my laptops are loaded with people in those fonts. And who claim to have made those fonts and then for whatever fucking reason those people are attached to the people who stole my identity that is fucking top notch hacking that's some that's some secret service shit anyways I even found you in the font. Hiding. Being sneaky. Like, look at that. I'm good at what I do. Just like you think you're good at what you do. Only difference is, what I do, don't get me in no damn trouble. Don't cost me life in prison. Don't cost me no prison time whatsoever because I'm not the one doing crimes. It's you. And it's you attached to devices. 
that don't belong to you. It belonged to me. The fact that I can prove it is why I'm so calm. I don't got to argue with you about a damn thing. And that's great. You hack everything down to the comments on my YouTube. Like, for what you do that for, dummy. You go to my Sean Paul video that's uploaded there, and you look at the comments, it, it, it'll bug you out. Because not all the comments are in English. <laughs> what? Anyways. And a Nayeli Gonzalez posted on a comment like here's the English comment that you was looking for like first of all Nayeli Gonzalez I wasn't looking unfortunately I wasn't paying attention to the comment on that video you made me focus on the comments by statement and then it's Isaac Rodriguez and Jonathan Gonzalez. <laughs> and before I found out I was being stalked and harassed and menaced and projected upon, there was somebody from a different country but he was in the United States and he left a comment and asked me why wasn't I dead yet? Yeah, I got it saved and it's still posted up there. Literally. It had nothing to do with the video. The video is just of me. I think I'm lip singing or something like that. And he asked me why wasn't I dead yet? Because bitch... It ain't my time. It's not your say. It was never your call. I know you wish that you could, but you can't. Write that down. I know you wanted so badly to have me out here looking a certain kind of way, right? Bad enough you made me homeless by all your attacks. And, and that right there is a price to pay, right? Yeah, because thank you. Thank you. Because it proves that you put me through a lot of stress and duress. You put me through forced things that I wasn't supposed to go through. Because you tried to cover up some shit that you did. And everything has a paper trail, and everything trails back to you. Got y'all spinning around in a circle. <laughs> Stupid ass. But that's what you get. You wanted the notoriety, right? You wanted to be seen. You wanted to be noticed. You wanted to be known. And you about to be known for a lot of fraud shit that you did. A lot of criminal involvement, a lot of harassment, a lot of theft. I told you, you Drake, and I am who? <laughs> you definitely not like me. No, not at all. And you will never be. And I don't expect you to be. You who you are, and I am who I am. And you attack me because you who you are. And I am who I am. And that makes you jealous. That makes you mad. Even when you made sure I had nothing. My very, my very 
outspoken nature, my very honesty, my, my very the, the honest nature I have, like how sincere I am, how real I am. That shit pisses you off because you can't be fake around me. I smell it on your pores. Just how fake you are. I'm not a card reader. I don't got to go out here flipping no cards. I read you up. That is the gift. I'm grateful, but at times I feel like it's a curse. Only because of what I have to go through. And the fact that I got to expose you alone. And I walk like I got the belt of God wrapped around my waist. So ain't nothing touching this vessel. We need to understand that. Okay? All right? I'm going to close out so I can post this. But Esther Colado, Colazo, Monica Ortiz, Gonzalez, Sharia, 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 you stupid bitch. If you don't fall back, you were stalking people before you started stalking me. You wanted me to help you stalk these people. And they were your exes because they didn't want to be with you no more. They messing with somebody and, and all this other shit. Like, what? Then you start messing with people that I used to mess with. My exes. That shit ridiculous. That's, that's top notch, too much wannabe. And I wouldn't want to be that. I wouldn't want to be you. I don't want nothing or nobody that you had. I don't care if that was my ex. I ain't taking them back. Because he had your ass. Ew. Anyways. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so, fellas. Fellas. Don't waste your motherfucking time. I'm telling you right now. You chose. You picked the side. If there was ever a time of reconciliation. You missed your opportunity. You blew your shot. You fucked up. And I'm telling you that. Directly. So you don't make any mistakes. If there was ever a time that I was considering of going backwards, never fucking mind. Y'all did too damn much. You you did too fucking much and you did not stop. You didn't even stop them. You was a part of it and you was cool with it and I can't fuck with that. Because if you were cool with it then then you would be cool with it if I ever got, took you back, like, or reconsidered, or anything, no, 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 I'm alone by choice, people, not because there's no one to love me, unfortunately, it's hard for me to allow one to do so, because so many actions and ill nature was taken upon me for no fucking reason. Right, George? Somebody wanted to let me know Medina was around, and I'm like, I wasn't the one that stalked you, George. Sharia was. Sharia L. Jones was. Of Matawan. Neptune. Now a state in Florida, but she's still lingering around here. <laughs> What? Anyways, that was the one who stalked you and Tanya, George, not me. So I got to get the shit. Explain. Tiffany Intuitive sat there and said that this person would get your friends, your exes, your family members, and neighbors to attack you. And that is true. Look at what the fuck I'm talking about. That is true. 
then. She's very accurate in that video that she made. I'm going to post it so you see. But what I've been showing you thus far is pretty wild for one to have to fathom actually happens. But it happens. And it's real. Is it the life that I want? No. And I'm so tired of hearing about domestic violence and, and, and the domestic protection such as VAWA, Violence Against Women Act, Violent Crimes Act. That shit is not helpful. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm under those protections, but look at who the hell is fighting for herself. Me. Who steps up for the one that always stepped up for everybody else? Nobody. You find yourself by yourself, handling shit by yourself. While people in the background like, we gonna find out together who did it. You a part of it, fuck you mean we gonna find out together. And I wish you would act like you get mad because I said that shit. And then I'll post the backstory, which is the back videos that nobody knows about. That really shows who the fuck you are behind the damn scenes. You claim you got my back on camera, Drake. But behind the scenes, you on that bullshit. You just like them. I'm the fuck not. I'm the same person I am on camera that I am off camera. And I don't got to fake nothing. I don't have to perpetrate a fraud for shit. You like me, I love you. You hate me, that's your problem. Deal with that and address it to the man in the mirror. Because I don't give a damn. Y'all really thought you got some shit off. And all that fraud that you did and got caught so bad. That's the blessing in disguise. I didn't think about it like that before. But I know that now. The new information that I have. On top of all the information that I saved all this time, all these years, to present it in court, please let me testify, I'm going to bust your ass in that courtroom. What Lil' Kim said, when I testify in court, she couldn't think straight. I be switching the lyrics around. Because when I testify in court, I'm going to think straight. That's that Biggie and Little Kim, I Need Another Man in My Life song. Think about the bitches I fought over you, nigga, head of shit. Fuck you, that one. Nine out of ten niggas ain't shit. One out of five niggas. I can't say the words. You mad at me, too bad she ain't bad as me. Should've kept the freak bitch off the canopy. Now you see. Now you see. I guess you went up in glory, right? For a moment, it must have been fun. 
that roller coaster ride back down, that's where I'm going to have my fun. Because I'm going to make sure that you pay for everything that you did. You're not sorry about a damn thing that you did to me. So I shouldn't have any remorse or be, what is it? Sympathize. You didn't mean it because you meant it. You didn't think you'd get caught. You'd never run into a person like me ever in your life. Like you do now. That's the problem. I won't be bought. I'm not a sellout. I won't sell my soul. I won't comply. I won't beg. I refuse. And I stand and sit on that, you stupid, stupid things. That said, let me get on in here in this space. So that way I can post these things. Before it gets too late, I'm kind of tired. Anyways, see you later.